What's up, gang? It's Willie Rebuild back with another one. Got the old 78 Buick Riviera. As y'all can see, she down and dirty, baby. We done gutted it out, pulled the carpet out of there, and now it's time to get down to the business. Y'all see, got a little rust in the floors. Driving and passenger side. A little rust in the floors. Nothing too major. A little cutting and wire welding. And get it on up out of there. Y'all see it? Look who, look who it is over there. It's Money Mike, the third of your body, man. What up? He back, oh, he back. The made it back. So now, we about to go ahead and get some shit done. Get some shit cut. Get some shit painted. And get some shit down the road. <laughs> and put down a few cold ones in the process. Y'all see what time of day it is. Finally got back on the Buick Riviera. From Michigan. She got a little rust under there, which we already know. That's why y'all seen it sitting in the back, in the background, and why we wasn't messing with it. Because we already know the task that was ahead. We need to cut the floors out of it. The rocker panel's good, just the floor pan. So we probably cut it back here behind the braces, skim out what we need, and then weld that shit back in and go ahead and drop the full three back in this joker. I'm just ready. Motor been built for months. Transmission ready to go. The car was running and driving, but we just wanted to fresh everything up, freshen it all up, and take the motor and transmission out too so we can take care of these floors because with the motor and transmission in here, this job was going to be a real test because as you can see, we got rust in the transmission tunnel too. So with the motor and transmission out, y'all see it, it's looking like Swiss cheese. But when we come back, it's going to be solid as a rock. I know it's a Buick, but y'all remember that old Chevy commercial, Like a Rock? That's how we're going to have them floors in a minute, Like a Rock. Doors closing good. Got most of the body work knocked out. Got all new suspension pieces to go up under shocks and springs and brakes and all that there. As you can see, it's looking good. Peel the top off it. We are gonna come back with the new top. Got, got basically everything we need to square it away. The only thing we gotta do is uh figure out what kind of flow we gonna be able to graph into that Buick Riviera flow. Cause we probably won't be able to find a Buick Riviera. Nope. But if one of y'all got one, hit Willie Rebuild up. And we'll sure see if we can make something happen to cut that bitch out. Cause it'll be easy if we can find a flow out of the same type of car. So we can cut what we need out and put it back in. Yep. So if y'all got one, a Buick Riviera with some solid floors, get with Willie Rebuild, and we gonna see how we can make it happen on getting this shit over here. But right now we gonna cut it out, we gonna take a few measurements, and then we gonna go in the yard, cause the junkyard is your friend. We gonna go in the yard and see what kind of floors we can come up with with a sable flow pan or whatever it might be to try to get this shit back in here and get on back down the road, baby. You want to tell the people something, Mike? I'm ready. It's been too long. The 403 trying to jump off the stand by itself. Yes, sir. And it's ready. So we'll, we'll have it together this right here. This is going to be like a two-day project here. And then two days on the outside, I'll be spraying paint in a week. I'll be spraying paint. As long as I can get that flow done, now, I'll be spraying Hold on, paint. Mike. You told the people you was going to have a car ready in September. I was drinking. In September, then came and went and came and went again. I was drinking. Okay. <laughs> now, hey, now I'm 15 minutes sober. 
I don't, I don't drink no more. I'm 15 minutes sober. Where my beer at, man? <laughs> yeah, we ain't got no time frame, gang. We ain't in no hell of a rush, but, you know, if we can find what we need, we gonna go ahead and knock it out. We gonna cut out, clean the wire wheel and cut out the rock and see what we working with after we do that. And then we gonna go ahead on and get everything squared away. Now, this is the time where y'all wanna stay tuned. Cause now y'all finna see the finished products and the process of how we knock this shit out. We finna knock this out, we finna paint redness, we finna jump back and forth from call to call. Yep. Until we get this shit done and putting some rubber on the roll, baby. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe. You're gonna learn something over here. See, we ain't just putting rims, but we got them too. We got the rim, baby. Yes, Lord. We got the rims, we got the motors, we got <laughs> motors we building in the background, we doing stuff behind the scenes. So don't think Willie Rebuild showing you everything. I told y'all before, show you what I want you to see. But don't forget, I'm gonna teach you how to get some shit done over here and not get beat out of your money. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, gang. It's Willie Rebuild with a short one, but I'm moving out, baby. We got a lot of work to do.